What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the Whiskey Shed. My name is John McGrath. I am a whiskey drinking Irishman in his workshop, uh, taking a journey through the world of Irish whiskey and sharing that with you guys. Now it's been a while since my last video, but hopefully I shall have some more regular content coming up for you whiskey lovers out there. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at a limited edition of one of my favourite whiskies. This is Jameson Black Barrel Proof. So this is a cask strength version of Jameson Black Barrel and I'm a big fan of Jameson Black Barrel, especially when it's on offer. It's a great whiskey for the money. And uh, yeah, this one didn't disappoint either. So let's get into it. Now it's normally at this point in the video, I walk down this end of the workbench and I give you guys some history on the whiskey, but there isn't really any history to give you with this one. It's just a, a limited release, a cask strength version of Jameson Black Bar. Now I already covered the history of Jameson Irish whiskey when I reviewed the standard bottle of Jameson and a little bit more too in my Black Barrel review. So I haven't got much to tell you on this, apart from the fact, like I said already, it's a limited release, it's out for Christmas time. So try and get your hands on it while it's still there. And like I said, it's just a barrel proof version of the uh, black barrel. So let's just get straight on to nosing and tasting this one. Okay, so let's get some of this in the glass. Now, as always, let's listen for our nice cork pop. Don't break, please don't break. Oh, there we go, not too bad. Now let's get this in the glass. Okay, so let's get nosing and tasting this. Now, like I said, it's the barrel proof or the cask strength version. It's 100 proof or 50% ABV. And uh, yeah, it's already jumping out of the glass to meet me. I'm a big fan of Black Barrel. I basically, I think in my review said it was toffee in a bottle and I get that this time as well. So they age it in ex bourbon barrels and other also sherry casks and they rechar the bourbon barrels. That's what gives it that extra kind of, I suppose, toffee and vanilla flavor. So they strip back that barrel and rechar it again and age it in that. So on the nose, So straight away, all that toffee and caramel flavor is there. But this time, um, there's much more of the sherry I'm getting from this. I didn't get so much of the sherry influence in the actual standard black bar. That's just all toffee and all those kind of bourbon characters and some of the vanilla and toffee that you'd be used to. But this one, yeah, the sherry definitely has an impact. Now it's a blended whiskey. So it's a mixture of pot still Irish whiskey and small batch green whiskey is in this, but uh, the pot still spice is definitely there. And the sherry notes, so those dark fruits are there. It's a lovely nose, really, really nice. I really like this, I have to say. It has that kind of green kind of um, pot still spice that you get. So it's almost like someone put toffee in red breast. That's the way I, I describe it. And as soon as I opened the bottle, the smell from it was absolutely fantastic. So I'm a big fan of this. Hopefully it's not too limited and that they bring it back around again because it's definitely black bar but turned up a notch and all the sherry influences are there. So on the palate. So on the palate, very, very nice. It has a little bit of that green whiskey burn on the back. That's the only down thing side I would give this whiskey but other than that, it's that toffee and caramel up front. Then you have those lovely dried fruits on the mid palate. A real kind of honeyed sweetness is in there as well. A little bit of that pot still spice. A little bit of heat to it, not too much. It doesn't ruin the whiskey or anything like that, but sometimes I find when there's a lot of green whiskey, you kind of get a little burn from it, not with this, but there is a little bit of peppery heat there on the finish, but it does kind of linger with a toffee and caramel. Very, very nice. Um, it's definitely black barrel, but turned up a notch. Now, sometimes when you get a cask strength whiskey or a cask strength version, it just destroys the whiskey, but this doesn't. This is very, very nice. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of black barrel, you will absolutely love this. It's like, I suppose, the red breast and then the cask strength red breast. If you're a fan of red breast, you will love the cask strength because it's red breast turned up to 11. When this is the same thing, it's black barrel turned up to 11. And uh, yeah, with the sherry influence being more pronounced, it's a lot more like red breast with toffee in it. So let's do what we always do. Let it sit on its side, let it open up a bit, see if we can pull anything else from it. 
So we leave it in our whiskey glass. Don't spill it out. It's too nice to spill that out. And we'll come back to this in about 10 minutes and we'll see what we can get. Okay, so let it sit for 10 minutes and let it open up to see what else we can pull out of it. Now, I should also say that it's non-chill filtered. So as well as it being straight cask strength, it hasn't had any chill filtration. So you're getting much more of that flavor out of it. Whereas a standard uh, black bar, I believe, is chill filtered and it's 40 ABV. But uh, yeah, this one is a different animal altogether. So on the nose, on the nose now, definitely that pot still spiciness is a bit more to the forefront, but it's still, it's toffee and vanilla, fudge, all those kind of flavors, lovely honeyed sweetness, but yeah, definitely getting more of that pot still note to it now. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't think there was any green whiskey in this. It's very, very nice. So you get that lovely um, kind of green note. It's almost like a maybe a pine wood or something like that with the pot still, plus the baking spices, so maybe a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon there. Yeah, very, very nice, absolutely, absolutely lovely. So on the palate again, let's see what we get. It's just all toffee and honey and caramel and fudge in the middle, very, very nice, very pleasant. It's. A lovely sip and whiskey this. So again, just like before, it's that big hit of toffee. It's a toffee bomb. That's what I thought the black bar was and black bar proof is definitely even more so. It has that lovely kind of peppery spiciness then around the side and finishing with a lovely honeyed sweetness. Getting the pot still spice again. It definitely has a long finish and it kind of keeps coming around and around and around. Very, very nice. I have to say, I really like this one. Now, it's a, a little bit of a release, I think, for Christmas time this year. Uh, hopefully, they bring this back around again, because that's very, very nice. Or hopefully, it actually becomes like a staple. That'd be fantastic, because, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Now, it retails at around 60 euros. You can pick up the standard black barrel, depending sometimes when it's on sale, for in around 30. It's usually somewhere between 40 and 50 euros. It's really gone up, because black barrel has become extremely popular. I think it won some whiskey award this year as well. So, uh, yeah, every Everybody's kind of on the black barrel now, so it's getting more and more expensive for the standard release. So uh, yeah, this one, definitely check it out. Comes highly recommended. It's someone put toffee in red breast. That's kind of how I would sum this up. Very nice indeed. Okay guys, so there we go. That has been my review of Jameson Black Barrel Proof Limited Edition uh, Irish Whiskey. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. If you see this around and it's available, grab yourself a bottle, especially if you like um, the Jameson Standard Black Barrel, you are going to love this. And I think if you like Redbreast as well, you will really like this. Like I said, it's Black Barrel, just dialed up to 11. Uh, same way uh, Cask Strength Redbreast is turned up. All the flavors are there. Bit more of the sherry is definitely pronounced, but yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. So I'm a big fan of it. I'm actually gonna buy, I think, a second bottle of this just to have it, because uh, if this does go missing after Christmas and you can't get it anymore, I'll be glad that I have a second bottle. And again, it's 50% ABV, so it would take a drop of water. It would probably go well with some ice. On the website, it's advertised as would go great in cocktails. So that was a bit of a warning sign to me when I first saw this. When they're advertising it to go in cocktails, it's usually not a great whiskey, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't put this a cocktail. This is lovely for sipping by the fire at winter time with all those uh, winter or sherry uh, fruits in it. It's that real kind of winter time whiskey. So it's a great time to actually release this coming up to Christmas. So that's it guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. There's going to be more whiskey reviews coming up. And I'm sorry for all you guys who are uh, waiting for me to get out some more reviews. I've just been so busy. I haven't had a chance. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have more Irish whiskey coming up on this channel. So that's it guys. I'm going to get out of here now. So slant your mouth, Makara. Take it easy and uh, yeah, definitely check this one out. It's smooth, it's smooth. I've got to say it was smooth. It's toffee and oh, it's red breast with toffee in it. What more do you want?